What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to save your SHSH blobs the easy way with no code involved using Tiny Umbrella on Mac OS X. guys so tiny umbrella is officially back so this was a tool a while back that actually let you guys save your shsh blobs without any trouble at all so now today we're going to show you guys how to do that it also has a couple of additional features that i'll talk about later but anyway go ahead and go down in the description below to blog.firmwareumbrella.com so as you guys can see you could read all about the new updated version of tiny umbrella and what it brings to the table with different java redesigns and stuff like that but for now, we're actually just going to go ahead and go to where it says download slash links and go over to the one that says Tiny Umbrella Beta OS 10 app only or OS X app only. So go ahead and click on that and it'll actually just go ahead and download a .dmg for you in your downloads folder. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already done so. So anyway, go ahead and go into your downloads folder. Go ahead and open it. And next, all you have to do is just drag Tiny Umbrella over to your applications folder. I've already done so again. Uh, so anyway, once you go ahead and do that, go ahead and just open open up Tiny Umbrella, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And once we go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella, you can see that he redesigned this a lot. The developer Semaphore or not come, as he goes by on Twitter, or maybe it's the other way around, um, he has two different names. He actually went ahead and redesigned Tiny Umbrella a lot. You can see that from the older version, uh, it just looks a lot different. He gave it definitely a huge facelift. Um, you know, the, the version that we have right now is definitely a lot um, you know cleaner but anyway as you guys can see I have my iPhone 5 up on the screen so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this uh, with the iPhone 5 so the first thing obviously I have my lightning cable here is to actually go ahead and plug it in so you're gonna go ahead and plug in my iPhone right now and once iTunes actually recognizes it then tiny umbrella will recognize it and you'll be able to see it says David's iPhone and it'll tell me that's an iPhone 5 so you're just gonna wait ahead and uh, see until the uh, computer actually recognizes my iPhone so so we'll wait and it should appear under connected in just a second as you guys can see it says David's iPhone so there it is I am on iOS 8.1.2 as you guys can see uh, so now we have a bunch of different options here so we can actually fetch local OTAs for our device um, so what that actually means is we can actually go on our device as long as our device is compatible and actually as long as Apple uh, if Apple even if Apple's not signing it we can actually go ahead and do that so as you guys can see if I actually go to action and go to fetch on board which is what I was talking about if I actually go ahead and click on that then what that'll prompt me with is it'll actually tell me that I first need to be jailbroken and I need to, I need to download this uh, package called Apple File Conduit 2. So it says go install it with Cydia. AFC2 is needed to fetch the SHSH off your device. Also make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed for this to work. So what we're going to do now is actually go on Cydia. Uh, but first I want to mention that I am on iOS 8.1.2 which is the latest jailbreakable public firmware. As of the recording of this video, iOS 8.2 has not been jailbroken as of right now. So anyway, as you guys can see, let's go ahead and launch Cydia so we're gonna go ahead and do that so I am jailbroken on iOS 8.1.2 and for this for fetching uh, on board for fetching the local SHSHs on board you do need to be jailbroken because you have to actually install package from Cydia so we're gonna actually go ahead and just type in Apple file conduit 2 so Apple file as you guys can see Apple file conduit 2 we're gonna go ahead and tap on that and now we're just going to actually just go ahead and press install. So it talks about, uh, it says this is a replacement for packages such as AFC2 ADD. Uh, it supports, um, you know, a bunch of iOS versions, iOS 8. But anyway, just go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, you can go ahead and respring your device. And then once it's back up, you can go ahead and continue on with this tutorial. But again, this, uh, this actual thing in general, uh, fetching from on board the device actually only supports as of right now uh, a7 and a8 devices so that means devices like mine like the iPhone 5 and iPad mini first generation both do not have the capabilities to actually do this so devices like the iPhone 6 the iPhone 6 plus the iPad mini second generation the iPad air second generation 
um, or sorry, the iPad mini third generation and the iPad mini second generation and the iPad Air second generation and first generation as well. So only newer devices will actually be able to do this. But anyway, guys, so the next thing we actually have to do is go ahead and just go over to where it says action at the top. And next, we're just going to again, go ahead and select fetch on board. So we do have an incompatible device because I uh, do have an iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5 has an A6 chip and not an A7 or A8. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, it is incompatible for this part of the tutorial, but I can still show you guys how to do it. So anyway, action, fetch on board, and then as you guys can see, it's still giving me that pop-up message saying that Apple File Conduit 2 is not found, even though we did install it on our device with Cydia. And the reason why is just because, like I said, it is not compatible with the iPhone 5 or anything else other than A7 or A8 devices. Alright guys, so now I'm actually just going to go ahead and show you how to actually go ahead and fetch OTA blobs that Apple is still signing, SHSH blobs that Apple is still signing. So firmwares like iOS 8.2, you can actually go ahead and fetch from Apple servers and go ahead and save them as SHSH blobs for when they actually stop signing it. So let's go ahead and make this window bigger. Now, um, you know, it still remembers that I had uh, my device plugged in from when iOS 8.1.3 was still being signed. Apple stopped signing iOS 8.1.3, so that no longer is valid. But if you do want to grab the uh, SHSH files for your device for iOS 8.2, you could actually just go ahead and press Fetch OTA for David's iPhone or Fetch OTA. And as you guys can see, it says fetching 22 SHSHs, 4%. And this is all in real time. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you're actually doing this. That way you can kind of get a feel of uh, you know, the, the way it's going to look like for your specific device when you're actually going ahead and saving your SHSHs. Now, for this specific uh, thing that we're doing when we're saving the uh, SHSHs from Apple server, since you're actually not saving uh, your SHSHs on board, this does not require you to be jailbroken because you do not have to actually install Apple File Conduit 2. So that's actually really, really awesome. So, uh, you know, if you are on iOS 8.2 and you want to save your blobs for that, um, then feel free, go right ahead, and you don't have to actually worry about not having a jailbreak for that and not being in a, on a uh, jailbreakable firmware because, again, it does not matter uh, for this, at least for this part of the tutorial, if you are jailbroken or not jailbroken, and it'll still work either way, which is really nice. So as you guys can see, it just finished up saving the SHSH blobs. So now from here, all you want to do is actually just, you can actually just go ahead and exit out of Tiny Umbrella completely, and now what we want to do is actually just go ahead and open up Finder. All right, so as you guys can see, as soon as I open up Finder now, all we have to do is go over to where it says Go, and then go to Go To Folder. And now, actually, actually as you guys can see, go ahead and copy and paste this in. This will be down in the description below if you don't know, uh, you know, if you don't want to pause this video to uh, actually get that. So anyway, as you guys can see, this is the SHSH blob that we just saved for my iPhone. This is the 8.2 SHSH blob. We can go ahead and rename this and name this whatever we want. So I could say iOS 8.2 iPhone 5, I could name it that if I want, so iPhone 5.shsh, so we can go ahead and do that, and now I can actually go ahead and just drag that to my desktop if I wanted to, and I have an shsh blobs uh, folder on my desktop, as you guys can see where I actually go ahead and save everything, so I'm going to drag that in there, and as you guys can see, it says iOS 7.1.2, iOS 8.1.3, and now iOS 8.2, iPhone 5, shsh, so as you guys can see, I have all of my shsh blobs right there in my folder, so eventually Eventually in the future, this is just going to streamline everything, make everything a lot easier for when a potential downgrade does get released. If you want to downgrade to 7.1.2, all you got to do is actually go through there. If you want to downgrade to 8.1.3, go through there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. I got a lot more great, helpful videos coming your way soon. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to get all of them. And also follow me on Twitter as well to get notified when I upload a new video or any updates at all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is David, signing out. Peace.